Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States, and you probably already know Drone Camps is a household name in the drone industry. We've trained hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions, on how to fly DJI products and maintain your stuff. So today, without further ado, Monday, June 8th, 2015. If you looked on DJI.com today, you noticed that there's something new on there. What is it? It's the DJI Matrix 100. It's an open-ended developer platform with open SDK support. You can sign on as a developer at DJI.com and you can develop your own apps and add your own features to this open-ended flying platform. So without further ado, let's get into some of the specs and tell you why it's so special and why it's gonna be such a great use for research and development. So coming up next. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into the features and what makes the Matrix 100 so important to developers and educators, uh, different uh, municipalities across the country and across the world, why this quadcopter is so open to adaptation to whatever your, your purpose might be. Uh, so right away, we notice that this is a quadcopter. It is open for development for SDK. The SDK is completely open for people to add their own programs and their own functionality to this platform. Uh, one of the biggest things about this is that they've added extra expansion bays on there. You can add your own devices. You can add some of DJI's devices that you want other communication tools, uh, onboard sensors and cameras. So plenty of room for, for expansion on this copter. We're looking at a universal power adapter, connectors, communication ports, um, two CAN ports, they're parallel CAN ports in conjunction with the UART port, which is for connecting third-party devices if you guys wanna add your own sensors or sensors from another company. DJI is actually going to allow that on this copter, which is really nice. That keeps it less proprietary for developers. Uh, another important thing is dual battery compartments. So now we're, we're gonna add two batteries on there, um, the TB48D batteries. You'll able, you're able to get a 5, two 5700s on there. Uh, up to 40 minutes flight time. And we said that was an unloaded uh, flight time, so without all your doodads and gasmo, uh, gizmos and gadgets on there, uh, your, your, your camera gimbal and other things. Another nice feature of this Matrix 100 is the fact that you can slide the battery around, you can move the battery compartments around and rearrange components so that you can get the best CG out of this flying platform because when you're adding on different sensors and other components, things can get pretty heavy on this if you keep adding stuff. So you wanna be able to have stuff to be mobile and be able to move around on here. So DJI has made it very easy to move the battery trays around and put them exactly where you want them. Um, the next great feature on this Matrix 100 is the adjustable arm angles for greater torque. We know this in the racing industry because we want to be able to uh, tilt the motors forward and get a, a greater torque out of our motors and get a faster response for more agile flying. If you want to do that, DJI has a great uh, option for you. You can add the, uh, the three degree pitch brackets on there and, and make sure that you get uh, a three degrees pitch into your motor so that it gives you a little more uh, aggressive flying style. Or you can add the zero degree pitch um, part on there and you can have zero degree and just fly it nice and stable if that's what you're looking for. Um, up next is the new DJI technology. They've added a soft vibration dampening material inside the arm of the Matrix 100. So that's gonna take out a lot of the vibration coming down the stem, um, motor stem, motor arm toward your center plate. You wanna reduce vibration there as much as possible. So they're actually actively helping out with some of that vibration. The next thing we have is the responsive quick release landing pads. These do look like they will unscrew quickly in the field if you need to remove it. You break one, you add a new one, uh, or if you want to, they say right on the, the website that we can add uh, future upgrades on there or replacement parts. 
which is really nice. And those are spring loaded landing gear. So when, when you land your components and sensors won't get much of a jolt when you're landing. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the dedicated remote control. So we're getting up to a two kilometer range in U S that would be 1.2 miles range, uh, pretty nice long range. You can actually extend that range as well. Uh, this will be a light bridge system. So you'll have nice HD, quality video coming back to your mobile device that you choose to put on there. Uh, and the controller looks like it will be a light bridge style controller. Light bridge will be integrated into it. We're not sure if HDMI out is on there yet, but we're pretty sure it is. HDMI out ports will be available on that transmitter. Um, it will also have full mobile app support. We're looking at a full blown app from DJI. It will fly the DJI pilot app. You can also create your own app with the new open source SDK. Very nice. If you want to go on to DJI.com and apply as a developer, you can do that and create your own apps for the Matrix 100. Very, very nice for educational and tech firms. Also coming up, we have enhanced GPS. That means that we're going to be using global positioning using the GLONASS system. So where we're using Russian and American satellites. So we have dual redundancy on our GPS, which is very nice uh, for, for our flight planning and our missions that we have less issue with uh, components going haywire or uh, the old uh, flyaways, the feared flyaways. So uh, the next thing up, we're talking about the flight controller. Now, the flight controller on this is the N1 flight controller. It's a new design by DJI. It looks very slick in the photo that they have on the website. It's uh, it's a it, you know going to be able to do use a live HD view when using the the, the DJI's it's called the X3 camera and gimbal. So it's going to be integrated with the camera system. You can plug that right in there. And there's a gimbal port on the bottom of it. it. Looks very similar, the same as the Inspire One, and we'll have multiple camera sources um, and be able to add and take off new cameras uh, as we're, we're needed in the field. Now, one of the nicest things about this, because I am a pilot and I am uh, always adding newer cameras onto our systems that we have uh, flying here at drone camps, one of the nicest things is that they have some upgraded ESEs in this setup as well as the E800 motors on there you're going to be able to add on uh, almost as much weight as you want on here. You'll be able to add quite a bit of weight and upgrade your batteries uh, for, for heavier payloads. So you guys that are looking to carry super heavy stuff, I mean, I'm not, I don't have any specs on what the actual weight for the payload will be, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be plenty of uh, power to, to, to lift whatever you guys need to get up there and do your research and data collection. So now let's talk really briefly about the DJI guidance. Um, it, it's, it's one of the most advanced object avoidance systems in the world right now on the consumer level. I mean, w this is revolutionary for, for people that are doing research and development. You, you can use this system without GPS to maintain uh, a hover within centimeters. I mean, we're talking a very, very accurate system for object avoidance, uh, terrain mapping, and other other options are going to be available with this. This is just 100% amazing. Uh, we're looking at a, a 65 feet, uh, an altitude up to 65 feet that this is effective. Uh, so very, very interesting. And when we say up uh, altitudes up to 65 feet, it's seeing everything around it, um, even at high speed that are saying that it will, it will actually sense and avoid objects. So for $9.99 to add this onto this is a very, very wonderful option. Uh, also, and we're going to really quickly go over the price points again with you on the developer tools available for this platform. Starting out the Matrix 100, like we said, it's going to be $32.99 starting out for that basic platform that includes the copter, uh, one battery, the GPS, all the, all the uh, motors, ESCs, everything you see, the landing gear. Uh, pictured here. Um, the next add-on is DJI Guidance and that starts on at 999 
The batteries are going to be the TB47D battery. That's the 4700 battery, uh, Matrix 100, and that's going to be 159 a piece. The TB48Ds are 199 a piece, so that's going to be a 5700 uh, battery. And two of those together, like we said, probably the two 5700s are going to get you that 40 minute flight time unloaded uh, without your camera gimbal and, and other sensors and items on that the Matrix 100. We also have the guidance connector kit that starts at $79. The next thing in line is the Matrix 100 gimbal installation kit. Comes with the, the bottom mounts and the cables to plug right directly into your, your uh, flight controller. Also uh, coming up is the Matrix 100 battery compartment kit. That is 139 and that will add another battery onto that for you. Um, also the expansion bay kit, that's the Matrix 100 expansion bay kit. That's for adding other uh, third party stuff on there or other DJI sensors on there. Um, so that's gonna be available for $49. And that looks like that's it for the price points, guys. Um, so let's let's give our final review and, and overview. This is this is looking great. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching that quick overview of the Matrix 100 by DJI. It is a definite forecast. It's a look into the future of what drones are going to be like in the next coming year and, and the end of 2015 and 2016. We are starting to add all, a lot of our own components on these. DJI sees that coming for, that, for this industry, for research and development, for educational uses. They see that people are wanting to add on their own sensors, their own computers, such as Raspberry Pi and other things, um, integrating systems like cellular networks, 3G and LTE. So as all of this stuff comes together, you're gonna see that the Matrix 100 is the perfect platform for adding on uh, all of this research and development into one platform, totally expandable, and something that you can keep adding on to for future uh, projects that you might have. Uh, whatever your industry is, there are countless industries that are going to benefit from the Matrix 100 because of the video system, onboard integrated light bridge, um, dual CAN bus support, and the, and the UART support uh, for third party sensors. So the guidance, um, there's so much integrated into this pack. Uh, we, we just wanna say thank you to DJI, all the research and development that's gone into the Matrix 100. Uh, our friends at DJI have done a great job on this one, and we're truly excited about what's gonna happen in the future with the Matrix 100. So thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. Please click subscribe.